Please welcome Dr. D, Dr. Ali Abadi, and Dr. Asil to the show. And Dr. Asil, I want to start with you because I think Joan's case highlights how important teamwork is in medicine. Absolutely, Travis. And that's why I'm so pleased to serve as the medical director for this group of elite, talented, world-renowned surgeons that have come together under one umbrella that we refer to as the Ivy League where they're able to get together and decide on complex problems, often multiple problems affecting the same person. Today, Joan was the lucky recipient in this story, and we were delighted to have two of our top surgeons, Dr. Tais Aliabadi and Dr. Derek D, able to assist her. And Dr. Aliabadi, I'm gonna start with you because chronic bleeding, if left unattended, can really lead to significant blood loss, as was the case with Joan, and you talked about the ablation procedure performed Walk us through what you did in that procedure. I introduced the camera into her uterus to evaluate the lining of the uterus. And um, I uh, did a scraping of her lining and I removed her polyps. She had, her lining was covered with polyps. After removing the polyps, I did a second procedure called endometrial ablation. Basically, what I did after dilating her cervix, which is the opening to the uterus, the sheath and the camera is introduced into the uterine cavity. The cavity is filled with saline. At the onset of ablation, this fluid is heated to 80 degrees Celsius. And uh, for a period of 10 minutes, this fluid circulates into the cavity and it removes the inner lining of the uterus called the endometrium. And by doing this, 53% of patients completely stop bleeding after the procedure. And of the ones who continue bleeding, 94% go back to having lighter cycles or regular cycles. So you address that because you wanted to address the issue with her blood loss and then, okay, one problem solved. Dr. D, you stepped in and said, okay, well, we want Joan to be able to walk because that's an important thing to have a high quality of life. Absolutely, and once her hemoglobin was stabilized and she was stable for surgery, you know, what she did was dislocate the kneecap or patella. The kneecap is a very unstable part of the knee. It's like a piece of soap in a soap dish. And there's a ligament here called the medial patellofemoral ligament. It's a check rein to lateral movement of the kneecap, as you can see. And when she dislocated it, it tore. It doesn't tear just like this model. It actually stretches out like an elastic band. And there's no way for that elastic band to be put back to where it was. So we reconstructed that ligament with a new graft from a tissue bank. The other thing she did when she dislocated it, as it goes out, the cartilage on the undersurface of the kneecap was damaged. Cartilage is a very specialized tissue, a smooth gliding surface, so the body has minimal ability to heal it. So we were able to use a graft, also from a tissue bank, of minced up cartilage with live cells to help graft that and heal that. And we actually have Joan joining us via Polycom. The question, Joan, how are you doing? I'm feeling great right now. It was awful before for my work, for my personal activities, so it was awful. I, right now, I'm not bleeding. I actually stopped bleeding the day after surgery. And Joan, out of curiosity, bleeding. have you noticed, I'm assuming your blood levels are higher, have you noticed more energy? Yes, of course. You know, after being bleeding for 72 days, I wasn't able to walk. You know, it was awful. I drive five, six hours a day, so I was getting extremely tired, and it was not quality of life. So, you know, Dr. Aliabadi, you know, he saved my life. And so obviously the most important thing to address was your bleeding. How is your leg feeling now after Dr. D's operation? Well, I'm feeling way better. I can stand and I can walk with a walker. I still cannot drive and I'm so excited to get in my car and be able to do normal things, but it's going on very well. And I know that I'm on my way to recovery. I cannot say how happy I am. and and the hope that I'd be better. We are so happy that you are on the road to recovery. We wish you the best of success with that. And Dr. D, Dr. Ali Abadi, Dr. Seal, really appreciate it. Great job in this case.